Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. Well, we was talking about how times have changed and we're going to keep on down the sidewalk of how times have really changed in these days. Times have really changed. I watched Oxycontin take over the goddamn street. Oxy 80s and Old Panna, them stop sign, them orange peels. I watched them come out and take the streets over where you can sell oxys and stop signs quicker than you can sell heroin or cocaine. Either one couldn't now sell oxys and stop signs. Them motherfuckers was a storm coming. And the storm has came. Understand this storm. Niggas out here selling fentanyl ought to be ashamed of themselves. And niggas out here slinging that cocaine, getting money, man. But let me tell y'all what I thought I'd never see. Understand that. Pills, Vicodins, all of your pills. Understand this. But now, do you know what drug is worth more money than any other drug on the streets? And we used to go down to the Fox Theater, me, Tracy, and Lisa, and drink cough syrup and look at the movies at the Fox Theater when you used to go down there for a dollar, sit there all day and they had about three movies playing. We used to go down there and drink cough syrup and smoke powdered cocaine cigarettes. That's when you put powdered cocaine on the cigarette, then you put the cigarette back in the thing and light it. We down there firing up powdered cocaine cigarettes and drinking cough syrup. And on this day, wouldn't you know it? The most precious item that you can get is cough syrup. It's worth more than cocaine. It's worth more than fentanyl. Cough syrup, like rappers, is on top. Cough syrup and rappers are on top. Because that goddamn cough syrup, that codeine, is the most precious thing on the streets today. If you got that lean, Niggas selling heroin and cocaine bowing down to you. Now the nigga controlling the lean game is the nigga that's handling the money. The nigga controlling that lean put you a little sprite with it and now they say Fanta with it is the hottest shit on the street. Fanta and lean. Understand that peach Fanta. You can't find it because peach Fanta and lean god damn it they selling so much peach Fanta and lean you can't find it. So understand what's the hottest selling drug on the streets today. It's called lean. And it comes from a pharmacist. And now they make it hard than a motherfucker for you to get some cough syrup. Cause cough syrup is like us. Understand, cough syrup is like me. Me and Mr. Walls was talking, in fact, yesterday. And we was talking about how we trying to find all the articles and news clippings and uh, TV articles and shit about us. And now we can't find them. You used to could find them easily. But now that they think they worth money and that Detroit stories are number one, they don't even want to give us the clips and news clippings of our life because they want to take it and make the money off of it. They don't even want to see us make the money off the stories that we took the time for. Nah, they don't even want us to make any money off of that. They want to take them and make all the money off of our stories. Understand this. This is what you see going on. I've been trying to get articles. I've been trying to get the interview with my father. Everybody in this world has seen it. I've been trying to get 3875 French Road on the front page. Everybody saw it. But now it's impossible to get because they think you're going to make some money with it. Metro Times, Kirk Gott. Felix Walls did an interview in, on Metro Times with Kirk Gott. And we trying to find it, can't find it. Stories he know that he did, interviews he know he did. Impossible to find. All these stories, the, the, the whole city seen my father give channel 274 open the doors of his house come in and give him an interview now i can't have it now as nice as he was to give it to them 
they refused to give it to me. Understand what you see. My father was another one. This said I got to pay taxes because that's the right thing to do. And Judge Fikens commended him for that statement and also gave him a lot of goddamn rope to hang himself. Understand what I'm telling you. Judge Fikens love when he said, Eddie Jackson pay his taxes and not all people can say that. Understand that nor do all people want to pay taxes. No church wants to pay taxes. That's why they tax exempt. And that's why they can't talk about the ills of this lifetime and what's going on in this world. If you've been paid where you cannot talk about the ills of this world, which candidate you should elect? They've been paid where they can't tell you any candidate to decide on because they're being paid to tell you nothing. If he get up on that pool pen and endorse Joe Biden or Donald Trump, his tax exemption is gone. He'd have to pay taxes then, and we can't do that. Don't nobody want to pay taxes but Eddie Jackson. But he was the worst motherfucker in the world. Understand that over $8 million in taxes, but he the worst motherfuckers in the world. So I guess Judge Fikin said, Mr. Jackson, you and them Cadillacs deserve to ride down the street paying them kind of taxes as well as any motherfuckers in this world. And Judge Fikin's made show. Eddie Jackson could ride down the street in them Cadillacs paying them kind of taxes. You go down to the federal building and you pay all your taxes, over a million dollar worth of taxes in one dollar bills. Understand what Mr. Jackson did. He went down to the federal building in his, old, in his Rolls Royce, popped the trunk and told him, go in there and pay my taxes. They went there hauling garbage bags full of singles because he made it a point to show the government, nigga, I can pay y'all a million dollars in all one dollar bills and all of it came from the streets. Understand the point and shit he was showing them why Judge Ficus, when he called him in there and said, Mr. Jackson, it's time to extend your goddamn uh, 